Today we're going to learn how to make a directional equalizer uh, inside Ableton using only Ableton Live devices. If you're not familiar with what a directional EQ is, uh, some company, um, DDM, DDFM maybe, I think I have it actually, DDMF. Basically what it does is it takes certain frequencies and you can pan those frequencies left and right. So it can be really helpful with uh, competing frequencies. Uh, so you could basically, you know what I mean, if you, if you don't want 2K you can pan that hard hard right and then you can take 10k and pan that left and it create it makes turns a mono signal into stereo but not fully into stereo just a couple frequencies so to get started we're going to drop a audio effects rack and then an EQ8 into one of them we're going to put this into left right mode, duplicate, and the way we're going to get rid of all the signal on just one side, so we'll go ahead and rename these, this one will be uh, right, tab over, wait, never mind. can't tab on these I keep forgetting that um, this one's gonna be a right channel so we're editing the left and we're gonna change this to the 4x filters which is 48 decibels per octave if you didn't know and what we're gonna basically do is take this high pass filter bring it way up and then take this low pass filter and bring it way down that's basically going to get rid of anything on there. Disable these. Help uh, save on some CPU. And on this one, we're going to do the same. But on the right channel. Now, if you can see, these little meters right here, one's only the right channel and one's only the left doesn't affect the audio at all. Alright. Open up our macros. And then switch this one. So we're editing the left. This one. So we're editing the right. Oops. We're going to enable these four middle ones or whichever ones. But we want to make sure that the bell curves. And now we're going to uh, set up macros. Uh, so we can do all the controlling over here and we don't have to mess with things uh, inside the, the device, the rack at all. So we're going to set up these so they all have their own, oops. So each one is controlled by its own macro, at least the frequency is. And we're going to do the same on the other side, but we're going to also map these to the same to the same one, so then it's controlling both equalizers at the same time. Okay, and we'll come over here, we'll rename these. Uh, F1, just to keep it simple, F2, F3, F4, so frequency 1, frequency 2, frequency 3, frequency 4. Uh, set these at whatever frequencies you want. It doesn't really matter right now. We'll keep them all grouped together, who cares. 
Now this is where the real magic happens. Now what we're going to do is we're going to macro the gain to the corresponding knobs, the corresponding macros underneath. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and we'll do the same on the left side. Macro one, macro two, macro three, and macro whoop, four. Now, you click on your map map button, and what we have to do is we have to invert your values for each left or right gain pair. So, right here, we have uh, the left. frequency and the right frequency and they're mapped to the same knobs so they're they're on the same frequencies and the uh, gains are the exact same so when so when I'm messing with this knob it's affecting both equalizers same thing with the filter frequencies okay but what we want to do to get the stereo effect is when we boost something on the right side it will cut from the left side and it will keep it a little bit more balanced and then what that's going to do is make that certain frequency range feel like it's moving to one side or the other so what we're going to do is pick left or right it doesn't matter but on your gain knobs you have to invert one of the two values so I'm gonna go through and invert all the lefts okay and what this does is that when I we're working with frequency 3 right here when I gain add some gain on the left side it's actually cutting from the left side that's gonna work with all these buttons now just you know 64 is the middle point but why is this one oop that's why 64 come on all right is the median point all right so now that we got it set up, let's listen to what it does. Too extreme with this because these filters still will, they, they will resonate still. They are going to affect your audio in some way. So, let's, let's get this mid range sometimes. So we've taken a lot of track and we've sent certain frequencies to the left and right. And now we have
pretty cool. All right, like, subscribe, uh, share if you liked it, and hope this helped you guys out.